guys, it's Natalia, your English teacher from Kazakhstan. You're listening and watching Voyage Podcast, where we learn some news and learn English together. I'd like to thank all of you for being here with me. And also, I want to remind you that there is no grammar. I read news, you listen and learn some words. Isn't that fun? I hope you enjoy the podcast. Last time I recorded this podcast was almost two years ago. Aww. And now I want to continue helping you learn this amazing language. Now you will always see me, okay? So now it's time to move on to our news topics today. I would like to tell you three news taken from the website newsandlevels.com. Today we'll talk about mushrooms, soccer, and smoking. Please like this video. Okay, let's start. I will be using my laptop just to see to read the news for you okay deal all right so the first news today is mushrooms grow from coffee amazing a belgian company grows mushrooms from coffee grounds coffee grounds are leftover coffee you have them when you make coffee and they are usually waste waste is materials and things which people throw away the company gets 5.5 tons of coffee grounds from cafes every month Workers make the grounds with mushroom spores. Spores is a very small part of a plant or mushroom from which a new plant or mushroom grows. Okay. Then the mushrooms grow inside small bags. Mushrooms need 15 days to grow. Workers then harvest the mushrooms. They empty the bags. They use the material to make insulation tiles. Insulation tiles protect a place. By 2025, the company plans to make 13 tons of tiles every month. This is huge. The plan is a good way to use less plastic. Wow, this was our news number one. In my opinion, this is an awesome way to stop wasting some groceries like coffee. Okay? I love this idea. What about you guys? Tell me in the comments, please. Okay, now it's time to move on to our news number two. Here, we'll talk about soccer players. I say soccer because I learned American English. But in post-Soviet countries, we say football. In advance, I'm sorry if I pronounce some names incorrectly, because sometimes they're really difficult, you know, especially for me, for women. Okay, news number two is called FIFA Best Players of 2023. Once again, Lionel Messi wins the best men's player for 2023. He beats Erling Haaland and Kylian Mbappé. 
Bon Matty, Spain's World Cup winner, gets the Best Women's Player Award. Award is a prize which you get when you win something. Okay? Messi helps enter Miami with the league's cup. Then he moves to MLS. Haaland has a great season at Manchester City. He is second. Guardiola wins best men's coach. Wigman is the best women's coach. Ederson from Manchester City and Erbs from England win best men's and women's goalkeeper awards. That was uh, news number two. Okay. How did you like it, guys? Please tell me in the comments below. And we are finishing with our news number three. It's about smoking. I do not smoke. I hate it. And I cannot stand the smell of cigarettes. It's really bad for health. What do you think, guys? So, our news number two is called Why People in Sweden Do Not Smoke. Meet Morten. He is 20 years old. He lives in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. He does not smoke. He uses snus. Snus in a small bag with tobacco. Tobacco is a plant which contains a chemical called nicotine, as you know. It is not for smoking. You put it under your lip. Sweden has very few smokers, only 5.6%. Nowadays, more people use snus uh, than cigarettes. Snus is very popular among women. Some people use nicotine bags with tobacco. Nicotine is a toxic, colorless chemical. People say that snus is good, but doctors worry, of course. They say that snus is a new addiction. Addiction is when you cannot stop using or doing something, such as alcohol, cigarettes, or food. Morton says that snus helps him relax. People believe that snus is safer than cigarettes. Sweden has strict rules for smoking since 1990s. These rules may make people smoke less. That is it for today's episode. I hope that you have learned something new and exciting for yourself here. Please keep in touch with me. Write the questions in the comments below. And don't be afraid of English. Learn it. Go for it. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.